Hello everyone, this is Blaze of Glory, and welcome back to episode 14, if you can believe it, of Subnautica. Okay, so in the last episode I did some things and some stuff. Uh, I got a vehicle modification station, and I grindy bit hour, er, grindy bit, grindy boy hours a little bit off of Chimera, uh, in order to be able to upgrade my Seamath. And my prown suit. Uh, first of all, torpedoes. Always torpedoes. Yeah. Ooh, do I have... I think I have some gas pods. Well, let's see how many it'll hold first. I'll make a storage module. And I need three more lithium for the second one. I've already got the Mark One. Uh... Oh yeah, I have to take that off of my Seamoth in order to make the Mark II. Hey Plinketh, how does one store uh, torpedoes? Crap! Okay. Uh, first... Yeah. I'm gonna upgrade my Seamoth to level 2. Then I think I, I do. I have enough to upgrade it to level 3. So now my Seamoth can go to a whopping 900 meteors. If anything's more than a kilometer down, I really don't need to go there. I have a storage module upgrade, which I shall also put on my Seamoth. Hmm, I think I need one for my uh, Prown suit as well. Prown suit torpedo arm. Death, I need nickel for that, which I don't, I haven't come across yet. And pulling nailing for that. Crystal and so, yeah, I need a bunch of crap that I haven't seen for that. What do you think, Plinketh? Uh, is it really worth it to, to put a torpedo arm on the prawn suit? Like this early in the game? I always go with grappling and drill arm. But if you don't have those yet, then you might as well. Yeah. All right, so I need five titanium, a lithium, and an aerogel. I'll go ahead and put the storage module on it as well. Five titanium, lithium, and an aerogel. After I've done that, I think it may be about time for me to do a bit of exploring. I can't really think of the other thing that I would need. Nah, I won't go there anyway. Uh, the other two storage modules maybe holy crap I can't put two of them on there I don't think that's absolutely necessary though alright so how do I make the gas torpedoes just a titanium and a I know I have some gas pods laying around I'm running pretty low on titanium far out. I just put all of my torpedoes in here. And right now I'll go ahead and put the extra storage modules and stuff and like that in there as well. Okay, now I'm ready to up go upgrade the prawn suit. Once I have done online. that thing, I suppose it's not opening because it's, uh, oh yeah, I need to get out my stuff first. Mm, and that, I'll take, do three... Seven. That way I have seven of each rocket on there. Not a fan of your noises, bruh. Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. Uh, 
Okay. So torpedo arm on the right. Uh, storage module there. I think I actually have to get in the prawn suit in order to uh, put the rest of them on it. I don't like how it just drops you out of the sky like that. can go exploring. Oh, I don't have a decoy to launch. Let me down here. Yeah, I'm thinking that I could probably mostly just like take my Seamoth places and if it required the prawn suit I could take the Cyclops, but I think now that I've got the 900 meter module on my uh, or on my Cyclops, not my Cyclops, my Sea Moth, there's not a whole lot of reason for taking the other ones yet until I need to go down to like redonkulous depths or I need. Oh, whew! You rustled that bag and it scared the crap out of me for a minute. Go ahead, I don't care. It's your bag. I'm more than because of the sound. It's mad spooky boy hours up in this business. Oh yeah, something's definitely gonna get me here. Also, I'm not sure how to get I guess I have to go through a cave system ultimately. Can't seem to find the cave system that I need to go through. What do you think, Plinky? I'm stuck. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh crap. And it's nighttime! Awesome! I can't figure out how to get to the Stagassi habitat. You have to go down through the bloodvine biome. Bloodvine biome. Uh, ah, wrong one. Lifepod 19 was near the Bloodvine biome, I, I think. Oh yeah, it's mad spooky boy hours. I swear I just heard a Leviathan. Also, not for nothing. But, payday! Oh, that's just quartz. Oh, that's neat. I never really noticed before because I had the sound or the volume down so low on my headphones, but you can actually hear like the water rushing past you as you're gliding along with your sea glide. Everything's fine. Everything is just Jim, Krat, and Dandy. That's annoying. A ruby. 
Believe it or not, this game is actually much spookier without all the sounds. Ooh, another ruby. Two more rubies. That's a big bunch of quartz. And more rubies. Okay, so now that I got all this going on, yeah, probably a good idea to save. And I can go ahead and turn off my bacon for the Life Pod 13. I still got my Degassi one on. Let's see if we can figure out what happened to the nice people of the Degassi, shall we? I'm going to imagine that where I'm going, it's probably never, never daylight. So I'll need my lights the whole time. Oh, great. So I guess that means I have to, like, go here and turn around. Gabe's Feather. Okay, I'll give it this much. This place may be some major spooky boy hours, but I dig the aesthetic. There's a warper here. That's awesome. These are going to be some fun times for me, boyo. Ghost weed. Unfortunately for me, the warpers aren't blind, so they can see me. Yep, there's one. There's another one. They're kind of just like... I can hear them as well. What are even you? Uranite. I wonder if that's used in a, in a nuclear reactor. I don't even know why these warpers don't like me. I ain't do nothing to them. Wow, that's still like over there. Warpers are the only enemy in the game that are actively hostile toward the player. I don't know. I've seen some Leviathan and Sand Sharks and Stalkers and... Are these just Acid Shrooms? Deep Shroom. Are these Deep Shrooms good for anything? Do I need a bunch of them? Uh, you can grow with just one. If you want to just stab one, you get the seeds. Need a blueprint. Uh, you take the seeds back with you. Oh, yeah, neat. Ow, that hurt me. Oh, okay. Or if you don't want them to take up that inventory space, you can just carry one and stab it when you get home. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. More crabby boys. I don't know what that screechy noise was, but I know I don't like it. Oh, there is a ton of uranite around here. Uraninite. Also, I like how every time you pick up a, a uraninite crystal, 
It sounds like a Geiger counter ticking. Mm. Highly radioactive material. Blueprints. Hydrochloric acid. Oh, wow. Employ due care. Polynaline, which takes hydrochloric acid and some gold. Gotcha. Uranium oxide. It's just uranium, basically. I'm guessing I'm going to need as much of the uranium as I can, as I can get my hands on. Especially if I ever actually build a nuclear reactor, so I, it should be fine. I hear something. Crab? Oh, Warper. Damn it! Run, 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 run! Ooh, me, you're more your inner right. I think I'm far enough away now. My dude's gonna have like full on radiation poisoning by the time I'm out of here. But I will have energy forever! Blood root. Far out. Where is my C math? There it is. Eh. Okay, what do you think, Plinky? I have five inventory slots left and my C moth is full. Should I uh, go and just keep exploring? Ah, uh, four, because I'm about to pick up this uraninite. Should I keep exploring? What in the world? That's a weird thing to be on my desk. Should I keep exploring or go back to base and uh, offload all my cargo and then come back? Can you remember where you were? Let's see, I'm 432 meters down, and I am, uh, so roughly 656 meters west of my base. So I'd really hate to pass up on all these good materials. And I only have three inventory slots left. Every time I like get out to a point where it's open water, I'm like, oh no, bad things are going to happen to me. Oh yeah, there are definitely bad things over there. Stupid warpers. Yeah, it's probably about time to go back to base. There's one. Crap. Run. Welcome aboard. 
Lord Captain. I have one more slot. So realistically, how much uraninite does one need? Uh, not a whole ton. I have 17. That's way more. <laughs> oh, and here's a uraninite crystal and a gold crystal. Dang it, warpers, stop screwing around. Damn it, Bobby. Ooh. Yeah, I guess I gotta go back. Hmm. There are two ruby here. I could drop a couple uraninite and grab some rubies. I mean, I've got three of them. Because I can find gold other places, but diamonds a little sparse to come from, come by these days. All right. Yeah, I'm full. Yeah, I'm headed back to my base. Right about half an hour. You need to go ahead and end the episode, go to your base, come back and start. Yeah. This place is creepy. Like, I always think there's going to be a Leviathan here, and there never is. Ouch. Stop what? What'd I do? Oh, she's being bad. She's being so bad. Boom, and I'm being so good. Welcome I've never been bad in my life. She's trying to simultaneously like, lick and smack my face. <laughs> Boom, you don't even know. Okay, I realize that was slightly anticlimactic, but I think that'll probably do for episode 14. Uh, hmm, that was extremely painful. I may actually die. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Plinky, it's too painful to say bye. Bye. She say bye.